Well, hey there, friends, and welcome back to the Creative Shop Talk podcast. I'm your host, Wendy Batten. We are about to start a series called Simple Sales Strategy Series. And as I was putting this together, I really want to remind everybody that it is not about chasing more sales. I don't actually work with a lot of people that think that way, and I don't either. It's about optimizing our sales and marketing for our shops. It's about building better businesses. I am not into the hustle and bustle, but we do only have this one beautiful life that we're living. And if yours is running your beautiful shop, I really want to make sure that you are running the shop that works for you and builds your lifestyle. And I know we spoke about this in our last podcast, but I really want to make sure that we are building businesses that support and are profitable, that they are feeding your family, (laughs) that they are giving you a paycheck or whatever it is that you are building for your business. I also think it's really important, and you've heard me probably say this if you've been around for a while, that we don't just need profits and paychecks. We also need it to be joy-filled and happy. We need to keep loving our business and what we're doing. And running a shop is not easy. It's not for the faint of heart. So there There is a common thread, though, that needs to happen, and we need to have profit. We need to have sales. We need to have people come into our shop and buy our things. It's what we do, right? And I also think it's really important as we start in this series that we remember our businesses, our shops belong to communities. It's not, it is, well, I shouldn't say it's not, it is about our our life and why we're doing it and it's supporting our soul and our bank accounts and all of the things, but also it's serving our family, as I mentioned, but it's also serving our community. It's a weird responsibility, I guess, when we think about our businesses, our, our your retail business and your shop and your community. It's not just about you. It's also about your community. And you having a healthy and beautiful business supports your clients, and it also supports your community. And it's and we are more than just the things we sell. We are more than just the things we sell. So as we jump into this sales series, <laughs> simple sales strategy series, I want you to know that it comes from a place of authentic marketing. And what will work to get more eyeballs on your business, to get more people to know you and to love you and to trust you and to come into the shop and to see your beautiful things and to want to buy more and then want to come back and bring their friends. This is this is how we grow businesses. This isn't about hustle and being pressure driven about numbers and chasing whatever metrics and vanity metrics, I call them, like just chasing bigger numbers. It is about running a healthier business. It is about um, measuring things so you can be intentional about things and and how we're running our business. So we have more time and more energy. And one of the questions I will always ask myself as we get into this marketing sales modules or that we're talking about here is asking ourselves continually, why is this important? So as we're doing things, so you don't have to just do what Susie up the road's doing, like, why is this important to you? And where is this going to take you? The thing that we're doing, chasing those big audacious goals that you might have, which I think are beautiful and wonderful, and we all have them, and I love stretch goals, and those of you who've been around know that, but I want you to know as well, too, that you have to remember where is this going to take you? Why are you doing the thing you're doing? And, and you know, how are we going to get there? So this is what this series is about. I, I've been sitting on, you know, not wanting to be that retail coach that's all about numbers and metrics and all of the things, but those are so important. It's really important for us to remember that those are things we need to measure. We need to do the hard things if we're not into doing those. And this is where I get super frustrated with a lot of, um, not not retailers per se, but with the with the way that I see things can be better for some people. And I, you know, I'm, we're all just building better businesses and it's just bit by bit, right? It's just bit by bit. So, you know, how can we get better and how can we be a better steward for our business? Like, how can we, how can we be a better steward for our business and our community, right? Our families and our communities. So we are going to get intentional about looking at four areas over the next few podcasts here on this series. And I hope that you 
appreciate where this comes from. It's not, again, about more sales, sell more things. You know, that's my grumpy voice. <laughs> that's, that's my like, you know, whatever. It's about serving people better and having more people aware of us. And I really, truly believe that measuring and understanding our clients and understanding how to get, a, you know, more of an audience and getting more eyeballs on your business, it's going to truly make a big difference. We have already shared on this podcast, and I also have a on-demand workshop. It's, you know, it's a very low price. You know, I think it's $47 to get into my foot traffic made simple workshop. And these are all the components I talk about in there, more of the how and the ideas but I'm going to talk about the metrics and the numbers and like what we can measure to see if what we're doing is working. And, you know, we try new things in our in our business and that's what we do. Right. So as we get going, I really want to make sure that that you're following along and that you're paying attention and you know where my heart comes from, I guess, in that. So and maybe that makes me a weird business coach. I don't know. But I do think that we have to have that balance of not just chasing numbers and metrics, we have to have that heart, you know, we, and I talk, again, I share this a lot, but we have to have heart, but we also do really need to pay attention to making sure that we are being profitable. We are getting paychecks and we are keeping that joy bucket filled, right? As we grow these better businesses. And we do that by watching our energy and watching our time and where we're spending it and what's working and what's not right so this is where this marketing comes from and I hope you uh I hope you love this series I feel like it's really been a game changer for a lot of my clients in flipping their mind around what the process is how the funnel works I hate calling it a funnel but honestly I can't think of any other way and I actually don't hate it because we are funneling people from large audiences of people in our community who kind of know us. <laughs> we need more people to know us, right? We, we we move them and I call those lurkers and people that kind of know us and we need more lurkers. We always need to be growing the lurker bucket, like people that are aware is visibility and awareness strategy. We need to understand people need to know we exist in the world. Even people who've lived two doors down the road, y'all know who I mean. <laughs> like People who just don't even think about us. But we need to make sure more people are aware we exist. So that's called, you know, our audience and our awareness stage. Then we need to like get them in the door of our shops, right? We need to get them to come to our website and buy our things, or we need to get them to cross the threshold and come into our shop and visit us and see what we are all about. And then we need to make sure we have strategies and marketing around, you know, serving them to the best ability that we can and and that's actually called conversion so that's moving them from you know I call it lurkers to kind of curious to you know they're kind of curious about us so they've come in right and then you know they're engaged with us when they come into our shop and then you know we also want to make sure that we are serving them again to the best ability that we can so we're going to start watching our you know our average order values and seeing you know how much how much are they spending and do, are we serving them the right things? Do we have the right products? Are we, are we, do we have the right signage, explanations, all of the things? And that's part of our job and we can't apologize for having, you know, making sales. So average order value. And then we also are going to look at over this series, like how are we getting them back again? Like, are they coming back? And if they're not, why not? And how often? And, and those kinds of things. And we're going to measure that. And we're going to put intentional marketing strategies. Hope is not a strategy. I hope they come back. I hope they come back. I hope they just liked what they saw and they come back. That's part of it, but there's more. And I, that's what we're going to do in this series. So let's jump in. Running a retail business doesn't have to be so hard. Welcome to the Creative Shop Talk podcast, the go-to podcast for creative shop owners, studio owners, and independent retailers. I'm your host, Wendy Batten, retail business coach and mentor. Each week, I'll share simple proven business strategies, inspiring stories from fellow retailers and advice from industry experts. Together, we're going to work to find the success you want from your retail business with more profits in your till and a little more joy in your life. Okay, our first strategy, the first simple part of the strategy is, is honestly audience building. So audience building means how many people know who you are and who needs to know who you are. 
(laughs) So there's always room, no matter how tiny your little community is, for somebody else to know who you are. Maybe it's expanding your community. Maybe it's moving out. Maybe it's getting known as a destination shop. I don't know what that is for you and your business, but we need to always be measuring and looking and paying attention to when we are doing our marketing strategy about audience building and growing awareness and visibility and awareness of our of who we are and what we do in our shop. How many people have come into your shop in the past and said, oh, I've been driving by here for years. I didn't really know what you did. So it's really important for us to start measuring. And this is the first quickie I'm going to, this is our quickie, quick action taking is to right now where you are, start where you are, how big is your audience? So when we measure our audience, there's sort of two things that happen. One is a actual legit we can measure and we would be looking at our email list, our social media accounts. And again, I'm not big on vanity metrics. And what I mean by that is I don't care if you have a million people on your Instagram account, if you only have eight people that love you and come into your shop. But, you know, however you're measuring your audience, look at those numbers. Like So add them up, but just take a notepad or a note or put it in your Google Docs or whatever and start paying attention. How big is your email list? How big is your Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is, your LinkedIn, however you are searching people. What we cannot measure in the audience building capacity is who knows us. Like, you know, how, like, how do we know if everybody in town knows who we are, (laughs) people are talking about us. And I say this all the time, but chatter matters. We need people talking about us. So a few things that we do, and this is part of the attract strategy in my foot traffic made simple workshop. You can go ahead and grab that. Or if you're in my inner circle, we are deep diving into all of this. And it's also in the inner circle as a full masterclass and a deeper masterclass. So I really want you to get the information, but this is part of our attract strategy. How are people aware of us? So there's like simple things like visible physical attraction, like the, you know, going around on your, on your, um, the front of your shop, like, you know, in your vehicles, whatever it is, how are you being known in your community? But there's lots of intentional building of your attract and your audience building. And that does take a little bit of time. And all I'm asking you to do when we're doing our marketing strategies, ask yourself the question, what am I going to do this week? to get become known by somebody new or this month, however, whenever you're doing your strategy. So that could be actively setting up moments to be in your community, going to events, or it could be becoming a community connector is a big one for a lot of my retailers. It's intentional word of mouth. Maybe we're asking our current clients to share, you know, share with their buddies, or we're doing something in intent, we call it intentional focused marketing inside my groups and in my coaching programs. What are, you know, are you connecting with the right people? Do you have, you know, are you getting in front of the media? Are there people that you should be, who should know who you are and don't? And how are you getting there? You know, do you have clear brand messaging? This is a huge one. Are you searchable on other platforms off social media? Do you have SEO? For the love of all things, are you updating your Google business profile? This is the number one audience attract strategy when it comes to being found just organically, but are you, you know, do you have SEO strategies in place? Are you getting out in front of the media? Are you, you know, are you using other things, other ways? Are you searchable? Do you have searchable content out there off of social media? That's a big one. So I just wanted to, this again is a really quick podcast series. I just want you to think about how you are currently audience building. So write down where you are right now as of today, you can look and see, you know, where you are with all of your, the data that you have, and then make some notes and ask yourself journal around this maybe and ask yourself, you know, who knows me and who, who needs to know us, who needs to know us? And do we have a clear brand? You know, do we have a clear brand? Um, do people really know is our messaging really clear? There's some, those things are really important if you want to be known for something and the go-to in your community. That is your assignment for this week is to understand your current audience situation. And, you know, where does it need to be as we're growing our business? So what we do is we reverse engineer all of our numbers. So if we know we need X number of sales going forward, we're going to look at our numbers. How many people do we need to come in the door? What's the average sale? All of these things, the math, right? So it starts with having a large audience. 
And we can, the more people that we grow in our audience, we can funnel them down, right? We can funnel them down. So if only a handful of people in our community know us and half of them are coming in already, that's not going to help us. We need to grow our audience. And I know that that's not the case for a lot of you, but what are you doing to be intentional about audience building and where is your audience right now? That is your assignment this week. Come back and join me next week. We are going to be chatting about the next part of it is how to get foot traffic into our shop and how we're going to measure that and the conversion, like how are we turning them from browsers to buyers? So I hope you enjoyed this first part of our, I guess, I, I don't know, I wanted to call it like authentic sales pay strategy, but that seems kind of woo woo or something. I don't know what, but um, hope it, hopefully that you appreciate uh, this simple sales strategy. I hope that it makes sense to you. I hope that you are going to action this. And I would love for your to know your feedback on this and how you are audience building. So if you're a member of the inner circle, um, let's talk about it inside the inner circle. If you're not a member of the inner circle, look for the post on my Instagram and you can find me at Wendy Batten Biz. And let's talk about it. Let's jump into my DMs. I love hearing from you. And I also would really truly appreciate if you have the opportunity to leave us a review let us know what you're thinking about the podcast or share this with just one fellow shop owner, just sharing it with one fellow shop owner or actually teaching them this strategy because it makes it stays in our brain more if we teach it more. But I would actually appreciate too if you would share it with them or share on your Instagram. I so appreciate you being here this week. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and we'll see you next week in the second part of the series. Well, that's it for this week's episode of the Creative Shop Talk podcast. I'm so glad that you're here to join us this week, and I hope you found value in what we're sharing here. I want to remind you that our website has all of the show notes. You can find it at wendybatten.com slash podcast. Everything that you need to hear about today's podcast is there. Also an opportunity if you need to reach out to me. If I can support you in any way whatsoever, please feel free to reach out. So thanks for joining us. Please leave a review, subscribe if you can, and never miss an episode. We hope to see you back here again next week. Thanks, my friend. Have a great week. Bye.